when Greta fell ill, uh, I think it's four or five years ago, she um, stopped eating and she stopped talking and she fell into a depression and she stayed home from school for uh, almost a year. She lost a lot of weight and was on her way to hospital. And so when I was 11, I became ill. I fell into depression. I stopped talking and I stopped eating. In two months, I lost about 10 kilos of weight. Later on, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, OCD, and selective mutism. It started maybe four years ago. She uh, was very uh, sort of, um, she got herself in a position where, where, where she was learning a lot about the climate change. And she was finding out that everyone was saying one thing and doing the exact other thing. And that she could not cope with. So uh, she fell into a depression. She stopped eating, stopped talking, fell out of school and stayed at home for almost a year. And uh, my wife and I sort of, we stayed at home with her, of course, and we did everything. I stopped working completely and we spent you know, all our time with her. Yes, I, I, I became very depressed. I fell into depression and I, I was uh, so depressed I didn't see any point of living because everything was just so wrong. And I kind of saw, because I have Asperger's syndrome, so I work a bit different. I see things black and white. And so I guess I saw the world from a different perspective. So I saw what was wrong with the world. When I was 11, I became very depressed. Uh, I stopped eating and I stopped talking and I stopped going to school. It had a, a lot to do with the climate and the environment. You went through a crisis in that period after you were eight years old. Can you talk about what you went through? I sort of caught up with reading about it and I understood and that made me very depressed and when you are the only one who really reacts about this crisis and everyone else seems to just okay it's very important but I I'm too busy with my life I just thought that it was very strange that no one else was behaving in in a logical way no one seemed to care about these issues, except me. And so you descended into a depression? Yes. Um, it was, of course, uh, caused by many reasons, but that was, I think, the biggest reason to it, because I just thought that everything is just so wrong and everything is so strange and everything is so sad and why isn't anyone doing anything about this? And so then I fell into a depression. It lasted for maybe a year or something and then I I stopped talking to because I have selective mutism or at least had they said it sometimes grows away um, and I stopped eating almost entirely I only it was a big problem I lost a lot of weight because I was just so depressed nothing seemed to matter anymore but then I started to to come back to become better, to feel better, and uh, a reason for that was because I saw that there are actually things you can do, and I realized that I can do things. I shouldn't be sitting here doing nothing, wasting wasting my time when I can actually have an impact. And then I sort of started to to become better, and um, then I became a climate activist, and that helped. A lot, and I think the more involved I became, the more involved I got in the climate movement, the better I feel, the happier I feel, because I feel like I'm doing something important, something meaningful. I stopped flying because the climate impact of aviation on a global scale, individually, it has such a big carbon footprint. What would you guess the percentage of all carbon dioxide emissions comes from flying? It's actually 2%. It is. So I just decided I'm not going to fly anymore. And that, of course, was a lot of trouble for my family because they wanted us to go on vacation. I was kind of a troublemaker. But then I actually convinced them, uh, I guilted them. I guilted them. Into also doing it. First my mom and then my dad as well and my sister as well. Yes, we have two daughters, Beata as well. Yeah. And and Svante, what did this mean for you? How have you raised your daughters um, 
to deal with the world and in this crisis when Greta stopped eating and was almost hospitalized. Yeah, she, she, uh, she made us realize that we were these parents standing up for human rights and she basically, uh, you know, confronted us with that, you know, who's human rights are you standing up for? Now and you're you're a well-known actor, your wife is a well-known opera singer, and yeah. you both I, gave up your professions. Yes, my wife is much more well-known than I am. I want to do what is right. I have Asperger's, I'm on the autism spectrum. I was very happy to see her smile and tell a joke for a change. For a moment, she seemed like a typical young person, but there's no climate emergency. So far, only one mainstream media outlet, The Guardian, has covered this story. They attempt to smear the signatories as deniers, without even addressing the contents of the letter or the exceptional accomplishments of many of the signatories. How dare you! You failed your daughter. You allowed an impressionable young girl with autism and depression to walk herself into an obsessive state of something she cannot control. A depression so deep that she couldn't eat. You allowed a child to become a dictator in your own home. Be a parent. I set the rules. I set the schedule. I set expectations. If I did not, my SD sons and their obsession would rule. You allowed her to dictate from my diet when she became vegan. You allowed her to kill her mother's opera career because it involved plane travel. You have allowed her anxieties to run rampant. And because she forced you to stop your careers, you now profit of her activism. Your parents stole your child. 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 How dare you!